Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. booked into Metro on two counts of murder. Police say he's a suspect in the deaths of Hanisha Scott and Michael Trotter. The two died after more than 50 rounds of bullets ripped through the car they were in outside the red store in Pritchard. Fox 2 News Shelby Myers here in studio with us with the very latest on this case. Shelby, police say more arrests could come. Yeah, that's what we're being told tonight, Lenise and Byron. Now, when it happened last Wednesday, police did say a driver and a passenger hopped out of their car and started firing at the car the two victims were in. Tonight, I spoke with the mothers of those victims who want more people arrested. She was a bright light for everybody. He was dead wrong for that. He didn't give her the opportunity or the choice to say who she was, what she could have did, and why she was there. They just did what they wanted to do. And I don't appreciate it at all. I want everybody. Tori Brazelton understandably angry that her daughter was taken from her. Brazelton says Hanisha Scott was in the wrong place at the wrong time and completely innocent when she was shot and killed last Wednesday. Pritchard police say Scott and Michael Trotter were in a car outside of the Red Store in Pritchard when two people jumped out of their car and opened fire on them. More than 50 rounds sprayed at their car. Scott and Trotter both died. Tonight, Julian Woods is in Metro on two counts of murder. Pritchard police tell us he's a suspect in their deaths and that more arrests are coming. Patricia Trotter just buried her other son who was killed on Easter and now she has to bury Michael. She says she's fearful for her life now, but that's not going to stop her from fighting for justice. I'm going to be at every court day. I'm, I'm pushing for the death penalty. I'm pushing for it. I, can go, I can't go look at my son. His mom can go look at him. My son can't look at his kids. He can look at his. My son can't. I got to go look at a headstone. I ain't stopping right. I'm not stopping here. I'm pushing for the death penalty. According to Metro Jail Records, Woods has a violent criminal history with charges including attempted murder and sexual torture. And Woods is expected to be in court on Wednesday. Bye. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.